Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome back to my channel. I am hoping that this is focused. You guys, I have recently bought a ring light and was trying to put it on the tripod that it came with, but it's so far away that I'm having a hard time getting it to focus. So, um, you guys, I'm so sorry if some of my other videos, just the last couple ones have been out of focus. I am still kind of working on this, but as far as I can tell right now, it looks like we're focused. So bear with me. I am still kind of learning. Um, and I was, you know, trying to get all jazzy with this special <laughs> ring light um, thing. But anyways, just thank you so much for bearing with me. Um, and let me know if this one's better, okay? So today I am so excited because I'm doing my first ever empties video. So you guys, I am a total beauty junkie, all that kind of jazz. And I have now been collecting enough of my empties that I can actually go through some with you and I thought it would be fun to kind of go through things that I'm gonna repurchase, things that I'm not gonna repurchase, and I also have some um, questions for you guys. So I'm hoping you can give me some of your recommendations. Okay, so first ones that I have is my Biologique Recherche Late VIP02. I'm a little bit sad and um, you guys, I've had several bottles of it. This is like my go-to milky cleanser. Um, and I am slightly on the fence about maybe I should try something else, but I'm hoping you guys are gonna give me an intervention and say, just stick with what you're using. Um, but I um, am out of this and I, right now I have the late EV from um, Biologique Recherche, but I prefer the VIP 02 over that one. So anyways, they're both getting there. I need to reorder and I would love to hear if you have a favorite milky cleanser, what yours is. My skin tends to be dry and the milky cleansers honestly has been a game changer for me. I don't do well with any gels or foams or any of that. Um, so anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm contemplating, I'm probably ordering this again, but um, if you have, I think um, one of the subscribers has a favorite balm that she loves from Oma Ritzva, and I'm kind of tempted to get that one. So speaking of balms, I have another empty, and this is Blue Moon Tranquility Cleansing Balm from Sunday Riley. So you guys, this one is, I've had two jars of this little blue balm. Um, you know what, this is not my favorite balm out of everything. I think it is a lovely um, cleanser, um, but it's probably not my favorite. I remember buying a second jar of this. My um, anthropology actually sells um, Sunday Riley and they have sales on beauty like 20% off the entire store and you can even get it on beauty um, so I remember picking that up because this is $50 um, it does last it's 3.4 ounces it does last a while um, but I have a lot of other balms that I'm kind of um, that I love like I love Emma Hardy um, I love the Clinique take off the balm or take off the day balm so this I am probably not repurchasing, but I next thing I have an empty of the Lotion P50 Pigma 400 from Biologique Recherche. Um, you guys, I this was just okay for me. I do suffer from hyperpigmentation and I was really excited about it. It wasn't, I really prefer my P50 v 1970 is like my all-time favorite so i doubt i'm going to be repurchasing this particular formula but i did finish that one and speaking of that i am going to give you a little update i had um i have been trying the dr francis prina jones um this is sort of like the 
clean version of my P50. And I just wanted to give you a little update as to whether I thought this was better or worse. Uh, you know what? I am not completely sold on this. This is nice. Um, I will finish it, but I'll be honest, I really, I still love my um, Biologique Recherche P50. I just, there's something about it that my skin likes. Um, this has salicylic acid in it, and I just am a little bit, I, my skin's been fine with it, but I just don't feel like I'm getting the same effect as I do when I use my Biologique Recherche P50. So, um, I will finish this. I had to give it a try because, you know, good marketing. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give you a little heads up in case you were curious about that. And then next up, I am out of my, um, my Glow Skin Beauty. And this is the Solar Shade SPF 50. And you guys, this guy is uh, just my go-to, you know, I use Holy Grail as kind of a, I'm, that's not my favorite wor word because I am a junkie and you know, <laughs> if something better comes along, I will try it. Um, but I really love, my skin does not get irritated and I am on subscription at Derm Store, so I get this for 15% off and they just send it to me. So I've already gotten my new box um, of this, but you guys, if you're looking for a lovely SPF that, um, you know, if you have sensitive skin, this has not irritated my particular skin type and I love it. So, um, and it does come in a tinted version, but I think it's SPF 30. Um, and that also is probably just as wonderful, but I really prefer 50 for my aging. One of the best anti-aging things you can do is SPF. <laughs> so, um, so that is an empty. I've got another empty, and I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. I probably will buy this. Um, you guys, I included this in my favorites, and this is the It Cosmetics Anti-Aging Armor. Um, let's see super smart skin perfecting beauty fluid so this is another spf that has 50 but this one has a little bit of a tint to it and i tend to wear this on the days that i'm going to the gym or teaching and i use it as foundation like i use actually so i will use my spf and then i sometimes will top it with this um it just it's a really i think it's a really great foundation um and this is really great in the summer when you don't want to look like cake face, but you want a little bit of coverage. I love this. So I may be purchasing this, purchasing this again, but probably more in the summer months. Um, and you guys, I'm still getting used to this Invisalign thing. So I'm sorry if I'm talking a little bit funny. So just bear with me. Um, okay, another one that is empty, and I'm always laughing because I never have the caps on anything. So you guys, these are truly used. But I went through a whole Joanna Vargas um, skincare, you know, I bought a bunch of her products and which are lovely, by the way. Um, and if you want a video just dedicated to her products, let me know. But I had bought her vitamin C face wash and this is out. Uh, completely gone and I would keep this in the shower and use this from time to time instead of my milky cleanser in the morning and you guys it smells wonderful like oranges um, just a very nice formulation I wasn't completely blown away like you know it says vitamin C wash you know anything that you're going to use as a cleanser is only going to be on your face for a few you know however maybe a minute at most um, so you know, this was lovely. I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing currently, but I did enjoy her products. Okay, we have just a couple more. Um, I had my um, hair stylist had bought the, or not bought, I had bought this Purology Nano Works Gold um, shampoo and conditioner, and I am out of this currently, and I have to say, I really loved the, this shampoo. 
and conditioner. You guys, I have gray hair really, so um, I'm blonde, but <laughs> uh, if, if you were to get a little close, you shall see. I mostly um, gray, but I loved this shampoo. Right now, I still have Olaplex that I had bought during one of the Sephora sale. So I am using up my Olaplex, which I still think is nice. I probably would buy this again, but again, you know what? This is one of these things where um, I tend to buy the, what she recommends for my hair, but I really do love Pureology. And this is amazing. It just makes your hair feel super hydrated. Um, for anybody who colors their hair, I think this is amazing. Um, so I, this is on the fence once I finish my Olaplex. And then last but not least, um, you guys, I whip through my favorite eyeliner ever is the Hourglass. And actually they have, they are called 1.5 millimeter mechanical gel eyeliner. And my favorite color is um, Ocean Floor. And you guys, I don't know how many of these <laughs> I've been through, but um, love them. I already have a backup. I think that you could get it. They have it in Canyon. They actually sell a three pack in black, but I don't tend to use black eyeliner a lot. Um, I tend to use, I love this like ocean navy color um, and the Canyon color, which is kind of a deep kind of espresso coffee color is wonderful as well. But I, um, I cannot tell you this is my favorite eyeliner out of anything. I think the downfall is, is you whip through them. So they're $18, but you can just really get in and just, you can tight line with it. Um, I just, I love it and that doesn't budge. So one thing I've noticed as I've been getting older is just with the, my eyes, like eyeliner, it would smudge more because there's a little bit more shifting <laughs> eyelids and so um i needed that gel eyeliner or waterproof eyeliner because um it just stays put um okay so you guys that is my little empties just a little short one but i would love to know two things because i'm about to order I, I basically need another one of these late VIP O2, but if you have some of your favorite cleansers, I, I'm sort of thinking of cheating, okay? But I, I don't know yet, but um, just I would love to hear what your favorites are. And again, you guys, thank you so much. Hoping this is much more focused. And again, in the future, um, I'll be doing, I, I am trying to, uh, make sure that these videos are better quality and I'm just still learning. So thank you for your patience and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.